Hey guys, Potemic Whiskey here and welcome to Let's Play another game of Civilization 6. Today we're going to be playing with some mods. The very first mod we're going to be playing with is the KO Quick UI. The second mod is the uh, Civilization 6 Improvement Patch, which is just kind of a collection of small changes to the game that make it more interesting and fun to play. Uh, we're also going to be playing with the Yet Another Maps Pack. Excuse me, Yet Not Another Maps Pack, which uh, just adds some new stuff to the map generation. We are going to be playing Russia. Uh, specifically peter we are going to be playing on standard rules with a deity game we're going to be starting in the ancient era we're also going to be playing on online speed for the speed we're going to be playing with 12 city states we're going to be playing on the giant earth and in fact we're also well this is the giant earth or the greatest earth map i don't know the greatest earth map is slightly smaller a little more interesting in my opinion everything is going to be map generated uh random map generated standard we're going to be playing with abundant resources we're going to be playing without resource, we're going to be playing map generated, we're going to be starting with a legendary start, and the uh, random, random start positions. We're also going to be playing, actually, well, I think we could do cultural, no, we're doing it random, random start positions. We have everything set up correctly, in my opinion, so let's get started. Okay, so the very first thing that Russia has going for it is the Grand Embassy, which is they receive science or culture from trade routes to civilizations that are more advanced than Russia, which means they get plus one science or culture for every tech three technologies that the person they're trading with is ahead of them. That's really good. It's really useful. It's going to be very good for us, especially for the strategy we're going to be employing. In the Civilization 6 Improvement Patch, everyone also gets the ability to spend Builder Chargers to complete 20% of the original district. So that's cool. Uh, also, the they get the Mother Russia, which is extra territory upon the founding of cities, and they get plus one faith and plus one production from Tundra. So settling Tundra as Russia is actually fairly decent. They get the Cossack unique land unit and the Lavra unique district. I think the Cossack is a plus five combat strength cavalry replacement unit that can move after attacking, which makes it incredibly powerful, but it also gets an additional five combat strength in its own or adjacent to their own land. I think the other thing that the Cossack is good at is what? Oh yeah, the Cossack only costs 10 more production than the standard cavalry. So this seems like a lot of bonuses for very little cost. So I think the Cossack is definitely one of the strongest parts of the Russian civilization. I think the Grand Embassy is useful. I think Mother Russia is very useful, at least the first part of it. The Tundra stuff is okay, it's not amazing. Um, they also get the Lavra, which is a actually a really powerful district because it gives you um, plus two uh, great profit points instead of the standard plus one, but it also gives you um, plus one uh, great person point towards uh, writers, artists, and musicians. It also, uh, when you expend a great person in the district, you uh, essentially culturally claim a tile. And then the final bonus is that it costs half as much to make so we are going to be making lavras in this game we are going to be going for a religious win and oh my goodness what is this uh let's have a look here at the settler map mode i think this is a pretty reasonable place to settle because we did put it onto abundant resources uh starting point we're gonna to want to focus on this this is a really good tile to chocolate is an amazing tile to get started off on holy crap especially jungle chocolate hill damn well, I suppose is a rainforest, chocolate hill. But we're going to have a lot of gold in this game. Uh, that's something to keep in mind. Uh, we have some pretty decent production. So the question is, what do we want to do to get started? Uh, we could do builder stuff. We could do slinger stuff. I think scout would be good. Start off with a scout. I think we're going to get started with astrology. We're going to want to get astrology ASAP. Uh, I think we are somewhere in Africa. Uh, that would be my assumption right now. Uh, not really based on a whole lot. There is more chocolate over there. We're going to want to grab that at some point. Because it's a really good tile just without improvement. I think we... I think this is like the... Africa... Somewhere. Or else we could be in India. That could be another thing. That looks like Tundra stuff. Uh, St. Petersburg, we got one scout, let's see, what could we squeeze out? Um, improvement wise, we're not going to be able to improve a lot of this land for a long, long time. 
So we're going to have to think hard about what we do here. So it might be wise to skip a builder and instead just go for the monument and get that extra uh, culture going early. I think we'll do that because the only other alternative is to actually build military units. But I don't see a... Um, I'm not seeing uh, a barbarian encampment in the immediate vicinity of my land that's going to bother me. And as I'm exploring here, I'm starting to less think about this as Africa and more think about this as potentially... Uh, well, I suppose it still could be Africa. But it might not be. The sheep are, you know, probably to be expected. This could be the horn of Africa. And I think it's probably a good idea to pick up the uh, plus double experience for recon units and the plus three production on the capital. Oh yes, granted a recon unit. This still could be Africa, actually, based on this land. I'm, I'm not sure where we are. I'm still trying to figure it out. Uh, okay, let's have a look. This mod changes a lot of the policy cards. So we're going to want to read through a few of these here. So this is just standard 30% production towards melee area and range units. Um, plus four gold from trade routes. That's really good. Uh, that could be really good too. I think going for caravanseries early could be really powerful. I think we want to get the political philosophy as soon as possible. So let's go for colonization and then political philosophy. Uh, next turn. A physician without a knowledge of there is a barbarian encampment there. So let's get our warrior heading over that way. Luckily there's no horses. Oh, there are horses. This is going to be bad. Oh, this is going to be real bad. Move there. And I think it probably makes sense to get the faster movement in woods and jungle. I'm going to see if I can stop this guy getting back to that um, thing. In fact... Oh, I actually can't place a Lavra without iron working. Unless I were to purchase a tile. Which I will do because the Lavra is just that good. That it needs to be placed early. Uh, so we'll do that. And then we'll go for uh, bronze working. Because we just need to be able to chop out that thing. Plus we're going to be able... We're going to need spearmen to deal with the horses that are inevitably going to come from this... Uh, this barbarian encampment. See if you can chase down that uh, guy. There is a goody hut that we're going to be picking up. State workforce has advanced considerably. Excellent. And doesn't make sense to go for a shrine. We are the only ones so far generating points towards a great profit. So I think grabbing an early shrine could be really good for the faith. Um, we are going to need the faith to get a pantheon because you can't actually get uh, a religion without a pantheon. So that's important. Pick this up. So we got a bonus towards riding. Not really what I was hoping for, but it'll do. Next turn. See if we can't stop this scout from being annoying. We have a warrior. Send him over there. I'm, now I'm still not sure where we are. Even though I'm still thinking Africa. But it really could be anywhere. Okay, we have this scout now sort of semi-trapped. We'll go there, you go there, and then attack. And then next turn we should get that shrine. I'm trying to keep him pinned. Uh, let's have a look here. We are going to pick this up super fast. I think it makes sense to grab a settler here real fast. While we wait for early empire. Start hitting this guy. Try and get him out of the way. Because we don't want this guy to start spawning off horse units. That would be super bad for us. Move there. Move there. Rest. Get up into there. This guy should be getting a promotion next turn. He shouldn't attack. Um, based on my knowledge of barbarian units. But this guy should get a level up. So 
block here. Next turn, Saddler coming out. Awesome. That's what we're hoping for. Um, we are a pretty close to getting bronze working. So how are we on religion? Someone is catching up. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop the holy site prayers just to secure that. And then we're going to grab more settlers. Because we just absolutely need to settle cities ASAP. Uh, I think it makes sense to go settle here. I'm keeping this guy in check. <laughs> Trying to kill him with these units isn't going super well for me. We should be able to kill it now. Nice. Uh, you make your way over there. You get your level up. Okay, this should get us... This should secure us a religion. We went for the early... Uh, it's going to be a couple turns before we can actually get a Pantheon, though. Is the downside. Faster movement in woods and... Forest. That's what we were hoping for. Uh, follow this guy. You should maybe do a little scouting over here. We, this little operation we did did hurt our scouting, but it secured us from the barbarian potential. Uh, do I settle here? I could settle there. Maybe I'll settle a tile away. I think I'll settle on there it's in order to meet you, exchanging information. Send delegation. Goodbye. So he's actually really far away. And his scouts are already down here. Let's grab... Okay, so we grabbed bronze working, maybe super early. We're also going to want to pick up riding. Uh, we're going to want to rush currency, actually. ASAP. And I think Divine Spark makes sense with... Because we're going for a tourism victory. Divine, Star Divine Spark definitely makes sense. Uh, probably also makes sense to do some actual scouting with this guy. Get him into the base. Now we can found a religion. And this religion is going to be... Uh, going to be Hakuna Matara. Haku Hakuna Matara. Hakuna Matara. What a wonderful name. Uh, Jesuit education and... Oh, someone else took the other one, which is kind of upsetting, the one that gives production. That means I'm less sold than actually picking up one of these early. And instead maybe going for, like, church property. For the gold. Plus one gold for every four followers of this religion. That could be good. That means my cities have to get up to eight to make this. This, this is better long term. This is better sooner. I think going for tithe. Go for the big play here. Settle that city next turn. We're getting another settler. We're about to get early empire. Which is when we're going to start super uh, expanding. And we're going to be going from early empire into... We're going to be going from early empire straight into political philosophy. Scoot your way over there. Time to settle this city. Great. Rest up. Set you on auto explore. Uh, I think I'm also going to hide you over there. We do have a little bit of a problem in terms of barbarians coming down here. We also need to start picking up uh, luxuries. Sort of thinking about that part of the game. Build their monument. Your delegation is most welcome. Awesome. Early Empire should finish, and then we are going to slot in plus 50% production towards Settlers, production towards Builders, plus two Builder Charges, and that's that, I think, plus one from Fishing Boats, no, I think this is all fine the way it is. Yep, looks good to me, and Unit Needs Orders, go there. Make your way down here. Looks like there's another Barbarian encampment. We are going to want more units. Might pick up a unit in between this Settler. I'll have to see how we scout. This looks like the Horn of Africa, maybe. Uh, choose production here. Maybe it might be a good idea to pick up a warrior. I think we will do just that. Why don't you rest up in this city? 
Oh, maybe not. It's this. Maybe this isn't the Horn of Africa. Maybe I don't know where the hell this is now. Now that this land has taken the shape, uh, although it is still possible. Maybe this. Oh, maybe I'm in South America. Oh yeah, this is Brazil, and this is uh, Chile, and Argentina's down here somewhere, and then La Plata, and all that, all that stuff. Um. All right, another settler. Be a good, good move in my opinion. Make sure we're focusing on. Focusing on growth and production. I think we will purchase the granary. No, we won't purchase the granary yet. I think we're good without it. Is it a thing? We want to pick that up with this guy so he levels up. And then send this warrior down here. In fact, I think I will keep this warrior up near Moscow to keep that safe from any, uh, any shenanigans. And then bring this warrior down. No, 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 don't go there. Uh, we just developed craftsmanship and we just finished writing. Uh, do we want to pick up a... No, we can't pick up a campus because we don't have the population. But it is something that we want to keep in mind. Uh, a gog. We're not really doing much on that front, so we don't really need a gog at the moment. So I think he's up in... That looks like just about Panama and stuff, maybe? I don't know. Or maybe that's up near Alaska or California? I don't know. It's hard to tell with just that little bit of knowledge that we have. Oh, goodness. We actually, we need to stop off and pick up animal husbandry, irrigation, and then currency. Uh, so let's at least pick up animal husbandry, irrigation, and then currency. And then that's the sort of order of things we're going to go for. Uh, let's see here. Settle. Do we settle coastal? I think settling coastal makes a bit of sense here. Uh, so we will do that. See if we can't make our way over to cut off this warrior while he goes there. Oh, I got, kind of got screwed there by my own unit. Um, so this builder... Let's have a look at some of these tiles. Have I have not turned on tile yields? It's probably a mistake. Stick these on now. So, some of these tiles could use improvement. I can't really improve many of them. This is like a hill tile, so I could build a mine there. Do I have... I have mining. So that's something I could do. What's being worked? Uh, the chocolate is being worked, which is good. We actually have a lot of gold. Um, it might even be worth it to purchase things. For example, uh, we could probably we can purchase a settler next turn, actually, which would be really powerful. But I think what we might do is purchase a couple of scouts to get even more scouting done, because uh, we do have the money for it and, and knowledge is power and all that sort of thing. Now, I think we hang on here and just get ready to get those horses online. And you're, you're going to keep this place safe. So you're going to kind of just hang out here. For the meantime. Let's see. Get over there. And you should be ready to promote next turn. So we just got a couple of boosts that I'm pretty happy about. We are going to be settling here. Knowledge of sailing. It's really good. Extra technology boosts. And I think I'm going to set these guys just on auto explore. Yeah, this is exactly what I was hoping to avoid. Is there where we're going to get scouted over here and we're going to need to be holding that off. Uh, I think you go for builder monument. Looks like some warrior shenanigans happening over here. This guy's ready for promotion, which is going to be really good for scouting. Um... Keep fighting. Look up to us. Keep fighting. Cats look down on us. Pigs treat us as equals. Pigs do treat us as equals. Um, I think it makes sense to settle over here too. Settle on that tile would be pretty good. Get that out of the way. Secure it. All that sort of thing. Keep making settlers mainly is what we're going to be doing in St. Petersburg for a very long time. Uh, ooh. That's not what I wanted to do at all. I get this online. Okay. And we're also going to want to get... We're going to kind of just bounce around getting a few different things online. Um, like, for example, these diamonds. The stone could be online because it's going to give us a tech boost. So we're mainly looking for things like technology boosts. We're mainly looking for things like resources we're currently working. I think we are working those diamonds. I'm really upset that I lost that unit. 
uh, very annoying. You should back up. You should also back up. I mean, anyone could have probably seen that I was going to lose that unit, but I didn't, so what are you going to do? Next turn. We have this Settler going up over here, that's fine. Settler coming out in four turns from here. This is going to be a big problem for me. So let's purchase, perhaps, Warrior? Spearman. Spearman is weak to a Warrior. Grab a Warrior. And a Warrior. Purchase two Warriors, so now that we have a lot of units. We get the boost to Mercenaries. Faster movement is good. Keep exploring. Okay. This is like Colombia and Venezuela up here. Panama, the sort of peninsula thing is here-ish. I know a little bit about South American geography. Not a lot, not a whole lot, to be honest. But I, I know a I know enough to make confident statements about general geographic areas. Uh, I think dropping a thing on here. That's also going to unlock a luxury for us. We are working that tile. I think perhaps we swap this. Does that screw this city? It does. I think we'll take that back. We have a lot of gold for this stage of the game. And we're going to be picking up commercial hubs pretty soon. I think we'll stop off for a builder in St. Petersburg, or we could purchase one. Would also not be a terrible idea. Have lived without love. Not one without water. Baranza, you've got a decent pile to work. Go for builder uh, monument, and then we'll pick up Lavras, maybe. Uh, for example, we could chop... I think it's a good idea to chop that tile. Then you pick me up a trader. And then wait for further instruction. St. Petersburg, why don't you... Actually, picking up a trader here doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Why don't you pick me up a granary instead? Because you are going to need the growth. Um, I'm delaying this because I want to chop there. Maybe that's not very good. Uh, grab a builder. And then another settler. So, I think it's time now we're going to have to start thinking about using pins again. Uh, so, let's see. Where, where where would be a good settle? I think settling coastal here is important because there's no rivers. So, there would be a good coastal. It would pick up a lot of these resources. So, I think I'm going to settle a city there. And we'll just kind of put that pin there preemptively as a city center. Uh, why aren't you... Why are you being weird? Go there. Okay. What is this? I don't know if I pick neighborhood. Huh. So we'll just, I guess we will just do a... Is it because it's in the fog of war? No, that shouldn't be it. But we'll just do this for city center. And we'll just type, you know, city. Uh, let's see. Keep making your... We need to clear out this barbarian encampment. That's what we're doing with these units. Probably makes sense to make our way over there. Five to six turns, so we'll make sure to get a unit to meet you on the way. Uh, looking for barbarian encampments. I am going to want to settle up here at some point too to secure the um, secure the, the the canal for myself. I want a canal city because they're just fun to have. We haven't met a single city-state already, which is scary. Um, for various reasons. We got a kill there. Uh, this guy's moving along. Do a little scout up here. Could be could be a city around here. Like here and here, maybe? We'll see. We don't want to be starved for tiles. Did you rest? Okay, let's, uh, let's think about where our lava is going. And is this a hill? I want to avoid killing a hill if possible, so that's probably the tile to do it. So why don't you head over there and get that chopped. And we'll place the lavra there once it is ready. The only downside is because of the particular land that we have, we're not really going to get much faith generation out of our like early game lavras.
We should rest up a little bit. Gather up with this guy. Keep an eye on things. Still, there's one turn away from doing this. We are about to get currency. If I hadn't made that trade route, it probably would have worked out better scientifically. Well, let's see. So this Lavra is going to take four turns if I drop it there. And then when I chop... It's four turns. Nice. Just getting a little bit of efficiency out of it. We might even... I don't think we'll waste a chop here, but we are going to want to get some chocolate online. Um, especially because we can trade it. Chopping here, shaves two turns off that. Move there. Move there. Next turn. Unit needs orders. We have a builder. I think bananas. It's a, it's a hard decision to, to keep or kill bananas. Um, they're pretty good early game. I think we'll improve that first. We'll, we'll get diamonds online. And we're going to want to trade uh, Pedro. Trade him our amenities. See how he feels about it. Uh, go there and settle. Rest a turn. And then we can kill this pin. When we start builder monument, uh, get this online. I think we are working that, so the extra gold will go towards our coffers. Then we can trade with him. Go to make a deal. What would you give me? One gold per turn. Open borders. I don't want those. We'll wait a couple turns before we go to trade him. Um, but I think that's going to be the end of this episode. I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Please remember, if you want to see more episodes of this, that you subscribe to the channel. If you want to directly support me and what I'm doing here, make sure you leave a like on the video. It increases my rank on YouTube, gives me more visibility, all that good stuff. If you want to give me direct feedback about this episode or just ask me any questions, make sure you leave a comment on the video. Other than that, I just want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys had a good time. I know I'm enjoying myself, and I hope to see you in the next episode. I love you all very much, and I'll see you next time.